we have a Goodman package unit. Can't see the model number, but there should be one on the inside. You can tell by my sticker that I've been here before. I worked on the air conditioning over the summer, and now they're saying there's no heat. Although I do remember checking the heat function when I was here and everything seemed to be fine. Oh, we got a blown fuse. Okay, probably because we have a bad contactor on the heat kit. I bet you that contactor coil is shorted out. Pull this and check it. So what they're doing here is they're using one disconnect and that main power is coming in, well, it's actually coming into the bottom of the heat contactor and then they piggybacked off the heat contactor and came to the cooling contactor. So let's ohm out that contactor coil. I'm going to make sure we don't have any power anywhere before I do that. We have an X13 blower motor. This is the main source of power coming in. And we have no power. Now we'll check each one to ground. Ground, nothing, nothing. Check it up here. No power. Nothing to ground on that one. Nothing to ground on that one. Okay. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. And good. good. Over there, and maybe shifting the hat. Um maybe one hose or whatever is still uh, the air you know lose the air right right yeah tell her to call me and uh
that fuse was blown. When that fuse is blown, nothing will work. But you can try it. Put it on off, and then wait for this fan to shut off, then go to cool and turn it down. She's saying the AC is not working either, but that's because the fuse was blown. All right, so we got the Goodman package unit back up and running. Uh, heat and air now works. The air just wasn't working because it blew the fuse when that contactor shorted it out. The condenser fan motor is the bearings are going out in it. So I'm going to give her a price to uh, change out the condenser fan motor. Come back tomorrow and do that. There's the contactor. I think I showed it on camera. It was the ohm reading across. And you, look at the coil. It's burnt. You can see how black it is. It's completely burnt. It was drawn, yeah, well, this side's not as bad, but that side is gone. So it was drawing a 0.3 on the on the ohm reading. You can hear the bearings going out in that motor. The thermostat's in time delay right now. All right, guys, I had to shut the camera off there at the end because the customer was coming around the corner. She's a major helicopter, but she's a really nice lady and she's a great customer. That's her rental. I've put a complete new system in her house. The one you could hear talking in the background. I, uh, I put a complete new system in her house and this is her rental. Uh, so basically we had a shorted out contactor coil on the, on the contactor that controls the heat kit. Blew the fuse and she said, oh, the air conditioner doesn't work either. I said, yes, that's because the fuse blew when they tried to run the heat, but it's gonna work now. But she's like, well, let's try, let's try. I said, yeah, we can try it. So we turned the air conditioning on. Of course it did work, but the condenser fan motor is, is making a really loud noise. And right after I cut the camera off, it kicked back on, but I couldn't get any film for y'all. But I was there over the summer because that package unit was, came off of a breaker from inside of the house went to a disconnect outside an old disconnect that was rusted out and then went to the new disconnect and I, I lost my power and then I had to trace it and I found the old disconnect it was all covered up and it was all burned up inside so basically what we did is we we tore the guts out of the disconnect and used the disconnects the disconnect as a junction box and uh I spliced the wires inside that old disconnect together, use it as a junction box because the new disconnect works great. And um, I thought, anyway, the point is I was there over the summer because of that. And if I'm not mistaken, I had told her the next stop sign, turn right. that the condenser fan motor was making noise and she declined the repair but it's gotten even louder since last time because when she kicked it on, it caught my attention right away. I don't remember it doing that last time. I think I remember telling her, you know, you need to get ready, but the condenser fan motor was so loud Turn right onto South Ridgefield Road. that I don't know if it'll make it very much longer at all. And we're still running the air because the air's on right now. It was 80 degrees in that house. So they said they tried to run the heat last night because it did get cool last night. So we're, we're in that season right now where people are running the heat at night and in the early morning, and then by lunchtime on, they're running the AC. But that condenser fan motor is most definitely gonna have to be replaced uh, or they're not gonna have cooling much longer. So if I, uh, if I get the condenser fan motor job, which I think I will, because she was like, ooh, what's that? You know, she, it caught her attention too. Then we'll make another video of me going replace that. But in the meantime, um, We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.